Okay, as promised, we're going to put your manual awning out. Um, you have this little doodad here, it's called an awning hook. The first thing we have to know about the uh, manual awning is this little latch right here. To get it down, you have to pull that down, and then when, it's, when you want to put it back up, you have to flip it up the other way. So it's a lot easier to do when it's down here. So you put that in the down position, you come to these little latches here, you squeeze them, see how that releases? You got one on each arm. Not your arms, the awning arms. Like that. So that releases what locks it into place. So once this little latch is in the down position and you've released the arms, then you put your awning hook through this little strap. just hung up here at this latch. So, pull it out. It'll stop wherever you stop pulling. The ideal place is for this to be hanging straight down. So, that's getting it out. The next thing you want to do these arms, loosen those so that it'll slide up and latch into place there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other arm. That's why it's nice to maybe have two people doing this. So that does that. Now we're going to go underneath it. And you have this little handle here, and you have all of these notches all the way up through here. There's a handle on each end. So, you push that up to whatever height you want, and then latch this back in here so it locks into one of these little holes. There's your awning. So once the awning's up, it's really nice. If you want to give it some pitch so that if you have rain or a lot of dew collects on it and you want the water to run off a particular direction, you just adjust the little handle latches so that you can give the awning a pitch one direction or the other. So that's kind of it. So to take it down, we just reverse all that stuff. So here we go. Take these handles, release it, watch your fingers. It's going to come down. It's got a little stop on it, so that's as far as it's going to go. While we're standing here, you see this little contraption here. You can release this and pull that awning leg out and sit it out here and make a four-point awning if you ever decide to do that. That's what those are for. That'll release, let you walk that arm out and set it up like you've got a four-poster awning. Most people don't do it, but that's what that's for, so that you can. So that does that. And then the next thing is to release these so that they'll come back down. Uh, so you always want to make sure these knobs are loose so that this little arm can travel. And uh, we're going to get out from underneath it because it's a lot easier to work with on the outside than it is on the inside now. So to release this, you have these little tabs, one on each arm. You pull that down and then that releases. Like look in here. See how that works? So that releases that so that this can come down. So that stops here. We're going to do the other one. So that 
does that. So we're almost done. So this is the time where, depending on how tall you are, uh, you definitely want to hold on to this when you flip this little lever up. And you want to have your awning hook in reach. So that's what I have this for. I'm going to have this. You want to hold on to this because what happens when you release this little latch, what it's supposed to do is take off and roll back up. And it reminds me of the Walt Disney cartoons where somebody would be putting the blind up or down and all of a sudden it would take off and they're holding on and when it's all done all you see is the feet sticking out of the person that had a hold of the awning. Same thing will happen to you with this if you aren't careful. So you want to hold on to this and hear where it says. Roll up, you push it there, roll down, you pull it down here. So we're going to flip this up and see how it's ready to take off. And it will go in a hurry. And because I'm short, I'm going to use the awning hook for finish. And there you go. So you've got that back up. Then you come over to these arms and you snap them back in. That locks it in place so that when you're going down the road, it doesn't just come opening up on you. So there's your manual awning, as promised. No one lost any fingers, legs, or arms. So enjoy this camper. If you have any questions, give us a holler. Thank you very much.